Hello dear children of God so glad to join you through this wonderful video message friends in this message i want to talk to you about the promise of god that he has given us for this year in psalm chapter 103 and verse 5 the bible says that the lord satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth may be renewed like the eagles yes my dear brothers and sisters it is the second part of this verse that the lord is speaking to you and me he says that your youth be renewed like the eagles through this promise the lord is revealing to us what he wants to do for you and me in these days here the lord is telling that just like the eagle renews its strength when it becomes weak the lord is telling us that he is going to renew our life and our strength afresh so that we can run and shine for our lord jesus christ here on this earth friends the eagle as you all know is a mighty majestic bird that hunts for its prey when it stretches forth its wings and it flies you know it it is really a majestic sight to look at this eagle hunts for its prey and eats and so for the eagle to to hunt and hunt its prey it must be always be full of strength and uh, uh, its ability must always be at its maximum but this eagle what happens to it is as it begins to age you know this eagle lives for very long years and so as as it begins to age its ability and strength to hunt begins to uh, diminish it begins to get weaker and weaker and so as a result of it the eagle is not able to hunt its prey uh, uh, effectively and so the eagle when it re- reaches its half age out of its uh, whole lifetime it does something uh, awesome that renews its strength it that 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 renews its strength to its uh, original ability that it had when it was an when it was an eagle at its youth stage what it does is the eagle flies to a very uh, high uh, place in a mountain and uh, it's it it sits there and what it begins to do is it begins to beat its beak with which it with which it eats its prey it begins to beat it against the rock in the mountain and that uh, uh, old beak which has which had become weak and which had lost its strength you know it it falls down and then in a, uh, the eagle begins to uh, wait uh, in the in that sun and as it waits a new beak begins to grow for the eagle and then what it begins to do is with its new beak it begins to pluck off its old feathers in uh, old feathers with which it uh, it flies you know because those feathers had lost its strength it has it has become weak so with with those uh, feathers it is not able to fly Uh, uh effectively and hunt for its prey so what it does it it plucks off its old feathers from both its feather uh, both its wings and uh, it waits uh, continues to wait in the sun until new feathers begins to grow in both its wings and once it receives that new beak and new feathers in its wings you know what happens the eagle's strength is now renewed 
its ability to hunt its prey effectively is renewed and so now the eagle you know beats both its wings and soars high majestically just like it did in its youth stage uh, with its renewed strength and it it its strength has now been renewed so that now it can hunt for its prey effectively friends this is why the lord uh, talks about the eagle in this verse he says to us that your youth will be renewed like the eagles what he is telling is just like the eagle you know when it was youth it was full of strength but as it begins to age it 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 became weak and it it begins to lose its strength and it now it cannot perform its duties effectively you know th- this is the same thing that happens in everyone's spiritual life that is why the the lord uses the eagle as an example in this verse you know uh, just like the eagle is full of strength in its youth stage you know you and me when we start our spiritual life our spiritual walk with god you know we are full of uh, strength spiritual strength we are full of um, uh, excitement we are full of passion you know we we are filled with love for god with all our heart and uh, we are on fire for god you know we are so excited in the beginning stage of our uh, spiritual life but just like as the eagle begins to age it begins to get weak and uh, it loses its strength you know we also as we continue to live uh, our everyday life with god and as we face the everyday challenges and problems of this earthly life what happens is slowly we begin to you know lose our strength we begin to become weak spiritually we begin to lose our uh, early uh, excitement and passion for the lord we lose our spiritual fire <laughs> we become uh, cold in our faith you know and and we become very weak in our spiritual life we even become tired and weary as we continue to uh, walk our uh, spiritual life with god and we as we begin to advance in our life you know we become many times weary and tired uh, you know we we see this happen in the life of elijah in 1 kings chapter 19 there you know in the previous chapter 18 the uh, the prophet elijah uh, had been used by god to bring a mighty revival in the kingdom uh, in the northern kingdom of israel but uh, in 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 1 kings chapter 19 uh, elijah faces a big problem the uh, queen jezebel threatens uh, uh, elijah and uh, tells that uh, she will kill him and elijah becomes uh, filled with fear for his life and he runs uh, runs for, uh, fearing for his life and he sits on the sits on the tree and he cries to lord and says lord it is enough <laughs> please take me <laughs> he he you know he became very tired and weary as he faced the challenges of of, of his of his life this is what happens even in our life we become tired we become weary <laughs> we become you know we say lord it is enough lord uh, of you seeing me you know uh, we don't have that uh, that that passion and enthusiasm that we had in the beginning and so you know what the lord is telling you and me through this verse is he is saying your youth will be renewed like the eagles what the lord is saying through this verse in psalm 103 and verse 5 he is telling that in these coming days that by the holy spirit and by the word of god the lord is going to renew and restore our spiritual life to its former glory just like the eagle you know goes to the top of the mountain and uh, is renewed in its strength as it re- receives as it puts away its old beak and feathers and receives new feathers and new beak the lord is telling us he that he is going to cause all those things in our life uh, that is making us weary and tired tired all those fear 
all those uh, uh, you know uh, 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 that uh, the tiredness that worries of life the lord is telling that he is going to by the power of the holy spirit and by the power of his word he is going to re- remove all those old things that is causing our spiritual life to become weary and lose its strength and become weak he is going to remove all those things and the lord is telling us he is going to restore our spiritual life to its original glory to its former strength yes yes my dear brothers and sisters that's what the lord is going to do to you in in these coming days amen not only in your spiritual life you know many times as our spiritual life become weak we also you know become weak in our mind you know from a grateful and a thankful mind we begin to go uh, our mind becomes a mind of always grumbling and complaining mind like the people of israel did in the desert you know we always grumble and complain when we when we uh, uh, become weak in our spiritual life when we face the challenges and so the lord is telling us that he is going to even restore our soul as psalm 23 4 says he is going to restore our soul uh, he is going to uh, remove those that uh, that complaining uh, complaining grumbling mind from our life and he is going to once again make our soul a soul that is always grateful and thankful to god full with thankfulness and not only that you know when we become weak in our spiritual life many times even our body becomes weak we lose our strength uh, we, we we sometimes we are even affected by sickness that refuse to go away that and it uh, and our body becomes very weak but the lord is telling us today that our that your youth is going to be renewed like the eagles the lord is telling you is by restoring your spiritual life and by restoring your your mind and our, our soul the lord is telling that he is even going to restore your bodily strength yes he is going to heal your sickness and fill your body with new strength yes my dear brothers and sisters that's what psalm chapter 40 and verse 29 says that he increases the strength of those who are weak yes the lord is going to increase your strength and fill you with new strength and and uh, uh, you know uh, and new health in your body so that you can run the race that the lord has appointed for you here on this earth amen so my dear brothers and sisters this is what the lord is going to do in your life in this coming days amen so shall we confess this promise uh, so i ask you to confess this promise to make this declaration so that the lord can do what he promised in our life so shall we t- t- say this to gather tell tell with me say in jesus name my youth shall be renewed like the eagles as the lord has promised in jesus name i declare that my spiritual life is going to be restored to its former glory and that i am going to be filled with new enthusiasm and excitement to follow the lord with all my heart in jesus name i declare that the lord is going to restore my soul he is he is going to restore my soul so that once again i become a person who is always grateful and thankful and stop complaining and grumbling and thirdly declare this with me in jesus name the lord is going to restore my bodily strength and health he is healing my sickness and filling me with new strength in jesus name hallelujah i am sure that as you declared your faith in god's word along with me i believe the lord who is faithful will fulfill this promise in your life amen god bless you meet you once again in the next message in jesus name amen bye bye